treble scores the game-winning overtime championship goal. What a season for the Manningham Panthers. 2013, a year that would see the Nottingham Panthers win their third straight playoff final, fourth straight Challenge Cup, and for the first time in 57 years, a league title, their first in the EIHL. The playoffs and Challenge Cup wins were special, but the league title was what Panthers fans have been waiting over half a century for. Since the EIHL's beginning in 2003, the Panthers had always been good, what with winning Challenge Cups and playoff finals, but they'd never been good enough to win the big one. But when they beat the Belfast Giants 5-3 on that magical night in March 2013, the celebration was years in the making. Many fans thought this would be the starting pistol for many great seasons of Panthers hockey to follow. To be fair, the last three years had arguably been the best three seasons of Panthers hockey since the EIHL began. With Corey Nielsen and Rick Strachan at the coaching helm, important signings needed to be made, especially to continue the winning culture that was being built. So, what happened in the 2013 off-season? Big Rigs Jason Beckett and Guy Lapine, gone. <coughs> Playoff era of the past two years David Beauregard, <coughs> retired. Scorer of the league winning goal Pat Gallivan, <coughs> gone. 30 goal scorer Bruce Graham, signed in a league I've genuinely never heard of before. The British workhorse himself Mark Leavers, yeah, no, Peterborough already snapped him up. One of the best British players in the league, Matthew Myers, returned to his homeland in Cardiff. Nightmare on skates, Kelsey Wilson, somehow ends up in Coventry the next season. And David Ling, well, he wasn't anything special. Just one of the best players to ever play in the EIHL. The rink rat, the passing, the slick hands, the hockey IQ. Nope, we don't need him. <laughs> what? And also your captain, Jordan Fox. <sighs> so what was to come of the 2013-14 season? Major injuries to elite goaltender Craig Kowalski and top defenseman Eric Werner. Although, we have found great players like Nick Anderson, Bob Wren, Joe Jensen and Chris Caprero, we're on track for another league title. And they're all gone 20 games into the season. Well, that doesn't matter. We found our next David Ling, the fantastic Finn, Mr. Jonas Sari. Alright, just now, I'd like you to pause the video and go and have a look at how Jonas Sari did with the Panthers. Just pause it and Go and do it now. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. Anyway. It's a year of ups and downs, from the amazing comeback Challenge Cup victory, to experiencing the horrors of Brent Henley, and especially Jonas Sari. At least the Challenge Cup streak extended to five years? Okay. 2013 to 14 was a year we need to forget. The Panthers will learn from the mistakes made last off-season. Enjoy the better part of your players not being signed back again, including the likes of Peter Callas and Lee Salters. Let's just hope this doesn't become a trend. The 2014 to 15 season starts with great promise. The Panthers are the first British team to take part in the CHL and historically claim a victory on home ice over the Hamburg Freezers. This is the year the league title returns to Nottingham! Craig Kowalski is back for another season and he got injured again. So he's replaced by Swedish goalie Matthias Modig, who's gone at the end of the year. Big Bruce Graham is back in the black and gold and nowhere near his 30 goal past. Robert Farmer and Robert Lakovic at least have good seasons, but David Clark is injured for the majority of the year. If you don't know who David Clark is, why are you on this channel? We may have had a bad season, but at least we can go for our sixth straight Challenge Cup, right? Oh, right. You can't. 
you were eliminated in the semi-final because your defence turned to crap and you couldn't score a shootout goal on a young British goalie who signed a one-game contract for the Steelers. And he's from Nottingham. At least there's the playoffs? <laughs> it was, uh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? The Panthers are stopped in the first round by the Coventry Blaze and a red-hot Brian Stewart in goal. That Blaze team goes on to win the playoffs. At least we lost to the best team? Okay, Chris Higgins, Chris Lawrence, Craig Kowalski, Cody Wilde, Colby Cohen, Brandon Benedict, Guillaume Doucette, and one of your best up-and-coming Brits in Jonathan Boxhill? Yep, you guessed it, gone. <laughs> But this year will be different! The 2015-16 Panthers emerge as a skilled and dangerous team. Great forwards like Uri Kolnick, Stephen Schultz, Brad Moran and Andy Bombag. They get a hot new goalie in Mika Wiegmann, a sturdy defence with players like Jeff War and Brian Schmidt. And most of all, Cam Janssen. This man will scare the living daylights out of anyone who stands in our way! Until Veekman gets injured at the start of a Scotland road trip and the team turns absolutely inconsistent from then until March. Why? However, he's back. Chris Lawrence. Really? I thought he was still a stealer. Uh, no. And also the man himself, David Ling! Still as amazing as ever. Until he has to leave after 30 games due to personal reasons. We still miss you, Linger. <laughs> Thankfully though, the Panthers have found themselves a saviour of the franchise, Evan Mosey. He wins the 2016 Challenge Cup for the Panthers after an intense overtime with Cardiff. Cam Janssen taunts the Devils with flashbacks of him knocking out their captain from months before. That same Panthers team wins the playoffs as well, with goals in the final from Schultz and Kevin Quick. A healthy Mika puts on a great performance, and the Panthers are finally a great team again! Just a shame that they didn't get close to the league though. Your performance has saved Corey Nielsen's job as well, as he's granted a two year extension. our home and, and making this a very difficult uh, uh, rank for t other teams to come in and try to beat us here. Oh no, we got Gagnon, Shuja, Fitzgerald, everyone's involved here. Now Gagnon has someone else, I didn't see who that was. Now we got Fitzy and Gagnon, we got Fitzy and Gagnon. 